What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the Pedal Commander for a 2018 Dodge Durango GT with a 3.6 liter Pentastar engine. Thank you for tuning in to the Slow Par Boys YouTube channel. My name is George, and we're gonna be going over my thoughts and reviews of the Pedal Commander for, like I said, the 2018 Dodge Durango. So, so far, I've had it for a couple months, uh, just about three or four months. I actually got it while we were in quarantine. It's a great time to spend money. And it's been something that I've been wanting to try out for a long, long time. I've been seeing ads everywhere for it, whether it was on Facebook or Instagram or any social medias. Uh, I've been coming across all different types of reviews. So I went onto YouTube, as always, and checked out the reviews of it. And I found that there wasn't really much going on for the Dodge Durango. So here's your in-depth review of the Pedal Commander. So the number one question that I always see people asking about the Pedal Commander is, is it worth your money? And so far, I think so. Now, it's not gonna change dramatically your performance. It's not gonna give you secret horsepower or anything like that. All it does is increase your throttle response. So every car nowadays has electric throttle response. There's no cables anymore. So you don't get that direct power uh, when you put your foot to the floor. So now with everything being electronic, the computer is monitoring your throttle position and opening the throttle as need be. So with the Pedal Commander, it just opens up the throttle quicker. So there's a bunch of different modes on it. We'll go over the modes and see what it's all about. So with each Pedal Commander that you get, there's four different modes. There's Eco, City, Sport, and Sport Plus. Sport Plus is obviously the most crazy of the four. Eco mode is good if you want to drive eco and you're in the city and you don't want your throttle response to be very accurate or very good. Uh, it really keeps it down low, keeps your RPMs low, and in turn, saves you on your miles per gallon or gas mileage. So the next mode is the city mode, and it's basically just a step up. Adds a little bit more throttle response, a little bit more peppy, but it isn't overwhelming. You can put your foot down and it will still do what you think it's gonna do. Now the Sport and the Sport Plus modes is where it starts getting fun. The Sport mode is if you're, is what they call an enthusiast. That's if you want a little bit more peppiness, it's a little bit more faster throttle response. Uh, and Sport Plus is where it really starts to kick in. Now there's uh, eight modes in each one. You can put it down one, two, three, four, or you can put it up one, two, three, four, and it does as it thinks. So with the Sport Plus and all the way plus four, that gives you the absolute most throttle response that you could possibly get out of the vehicle. So the next thing we're going to do is show you how to install it. Uh, it's really easy to install. It's about less than a 10 minute process. Anybody can do it. If you can unhook two wires from each other, then you can install it. It'd be a little bit hard to show you, but you can see the PC31 wire running from my gas pedal into the pedal commander. I've tried to fish it up in between my center uh, console there to get it hidden away. But basically what you'd want to do is on top of the gas pedal module up there, you'll just unplug it from the gas pedal itself. Plug in the two wires from the pedal commander and replug everything back in. Basically you just have to follow the instructions. It'll probably take you about five to seven minutes depending on how agile you are and how much you can get yourself up in there. Other than that, it's a really easy install and that's it. So the next thing we're gonna do is show you all four modes and show you the comparison between the four plus with what it's like being stock if you didn't have one.
worth your money. It all depends on what your thoughts are. I mean, to me, I think it's worth the money. Uh, if you have a hole in your pocket that you're looking to burn through, uh, it's definitely a nice fun piece to add to your vehicle. Um, it's not gonna unlock, like I said before, any secret horsepower, but it's definitely gonna wake up your vehicle a little bit and give you a little bit more fun while driving, especially if you've got some good you know, mountain roads or curvy roads or even some straightaways. So that's what I think about this. Thank you for watching the video. My name is George. You're watching the Slow Par Boys YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel, and we'll catch you next time.